Yeah, yeah so uh, Charles and White, he blamed Lil Nas X mom for being homeless, you know what I'm saying? You know, he, he, he right for real though. I know a lot of people don't agree with Charles and White. Um, but what he said right here about Lil Nas X mom, yeah, Lil Nas, you wrong for that shit, bro. Your goddamn ass, you got all this damn money, millions and millions of dollars, you done sold your soul, you done sold your whole, all that stuff, and then you mean to tell me? You can't help your mama, bro? If it wasn't for your mom, shit, your stank ass wouldn't be out here making all these goddamn songs and shit. Getting all this money. Lap dancing with the devil. All that. You can go take care of your mama, bro, for real. I don't care how. I don't know how many times y'all would fell out. Y'all can fall out a thousand times, nigga. Shit. Take care, cause when she gone, she gone, bro. You only get one mom and one dad. When she ever passed, you gonna be sick. Man, damn, man, I wish I would've, I wish I could've did with my mom, bro. No, you have a chance to do what's right, man. You don't want this one person, he uh, recording it. They say, ain't you no know, nice things, mom? Man, I can't remember what it said, but that was a bad look on you, little guy, bro. I mean, I know you got people controlling and telling you to do this and do that. They probably tell you, don't help your mom, she'll be all right. But when she gone and when your ass ain't had it anymore, you're going to be, you're going to want to come back to mama and get some of mama's cooking, like Cormac Brown. So you want some of mama's cooking that mama love. I don't know what's up with your daddy, but goddamn, bro, you need to take care of your mama, man, Charles and White. Man, everybody, they getting on your shit, bro. So nobody wants to dig your niggas, man. Y'all too busy. Loving on each other, paying your fingernails, doing all this weird shit. Coming out with fingernail, um, fingernail lines for you, for the men and stuff. A real nigga don't want no goddamn fingernail, probably unless he gay or whatever, but that's that, but. Uh, these so called niggas, these new niggas, man, I don't know what to say about y'all. Y'all be shaving y'all damn son. All y'all wanna do is pop pills, smoke weed, and cry, and get in your feelings. Niggas be sick when a girl leave or they don't get enough likes and comments. Like, what the fuck, bro? When, when do we get to this right here? People be going to sick, want to go on suicide, commit suicide because they don't get enough likes or retweets. Man, social media got y'all fucked up for real, bro. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all need to go, uh, go on Netflix. Man, what's the name of that goddamn show? Man, I can't think of the name of uh, Social Dilemma. Yeah, Social Dilemma. Watch that. And that will, that will explain a lot of this stuff that's going on right now, man. It's just sick. Lil Nah, you sick, bro. You don't care about your mom, man. That don't make any sense, man. You just gonna leave out the stranded on the left. You know, tell what she gotta go through, what she been been through. But you had it, you have millions of dollars. And you ain't think about your mom. Wrong, bro. And where I'm on ET watching, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Subscribe to the real, the fake shit. Y'all can stay all ass, stay all ass on. So don't call my goddamn, don't call my goddamn channel talking no. Yeah, I ain't hating no little nut. No, I ain't hating. I'm just spitting the real shit. Y'all, y'all just ain't heard or seen a real nigga like me or somebody that's spitting that real. Y'all can't accept. I know they gonna come with it, and I'm ready for the smoke. Yeah. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.